when you have a bunch of values, a bunch of constants that you want to manage in your code, uh, and you want it to be readable in your code, you can use a feature called enumerations. Enumerations, or enums as it's commonly called, is uh, it's pretty common in a lot of uh, programming languages, and TypeScript has it too. Uh, let me give you an example. So let's say you want to track days of the week, right? Monday to Sunday, uh, you have values in your code which represent those days of the week and you wanna compare it with say something else, say if day equals Monday or something like that. But you can technically do this by a bunch of strings, right? You can say var day equals Monday. And uh, let's say you want another day, which is another variable, you can do comparisons, which is just like string comparisons and all that stuff. But with enumerations, you get a slightly more elegant and slightly more readable code. Uh, the way to create an enumeration is by creating the keyword enum and then days of the week. So it's almost like creating a class, but it's not technically a class. Inside this, what you do is you list out all the values. So let's say I have my days of the week, Sunday, Monday, all right, so these are the days of the week. Now, let's say I want a variable which contains a value which is Monday, right? I wanna say the certain day is Monday. So I have a let day equals, you know, the string is a bad option, right? You don't wanna do this. This doesn't really convey that it's a day of a week. Here's what I can do. I can create this day variable which contains one of these days I can assign it to be, I can declare it to be one of the days of the week. So the day variable is of type days of the week, right? So when I'm creating this enumeration here, I'm creating a type and the value of those types is one of these values that's declared in the enumerations. Now, now day can contain any of these values, the ones, uh, the seven values that you're seeing over here. Now I can do something like this, day equals days of the week dot Monday. You see this, when I do days of the week and do a dot, the autocomplete suggests these values, right? So these are the values that are possible for the days of the week enumeration and those are the values that this variable can possibly take because this variable has been declared of type days of the week, all right? Now, another thing I can do is compare values. Now let's say I have a day coming from somewhere else and now I can compare it if day is equal to days of the week dot Monday. Gotta go to work. All right, now let me run this. Enum.ts and node enum.js. You see it says, it's gotta go to work. So what I'm doing here is I'm treating it just like any other value. I'm doing the comparison, which is the triple equals. So I'm comparing this to a value which is directly got from the enumeration. So it acts like any other value, but then you have the advantage of looking at the code and figuring out what the variable is all about, and also figuring out what you're comparing it to when there are comparisons, right? Now, the value part of it is interesting because when you do this, when you do something like this, what you're doing is actually implicitly assigning values to each of these individual constants because JavaScript doesn't have a constant concept of enumeration. So when you compile this to TSC, what's, what's actually happening? What is JavaScript seeing this as? If you look at enum.js, if here you can see that it's actually creating an array, right? So you have an array with each value being, if the key being the name of the constant and the value being just numbers. You see the zero to six, which represent the seven days. So what you're doing here is you're actually creating a bunch of constant values, bunch of numbers, which is why an assignment, and you know, a comparison like this works, which is why an assignment like this works. So JavaScript just thinks of it as numbers, but when you look at it at the code, at the TypeScript level, it makes more sense and it has meaning, which is kind of what we want. Now let's say you're uh, you're not happy with these numbers that are backing the values, right? Right now Sunday is assigned to zero, Monday is assigned to one, and so on, all the way to six. 
let's say you don't like those numbers, you wanna have a different bunch of values for this. And the way you can do that is by putting value right here. So I have Sunday is equal to 100. So what this does is it starts off these values with 100. So Monday becomes 101, Tuesday becomes 102, Wednesday is 103. You see this as I hover my mouse over, it tells me all the new values. So you can assign a value to each of these things, each of these constants, or you can just assign it to one and then the rest of the constants are basically that value incremented by one each time. So Monday is whatever you assign here, plus one. Tuesday is whatever you assign here, plus two and so on. This will still work because this part would not affect the code that's happening below because you're not referring to those values directly. You're referring it through the enumeration dot value. So it really doesn't matter what this is. You'd probably use this when you're trying to work with other code which has a certain value. So let's say you're dealing with code which has Sunday is 100. Right, So you're gonna have to initialize this so that when you do comparisons like this, it'll still work, right? So let me compile this again and it still works. 